documents how I grow wheat and then make bread for my allotment. plant the wheat now. If you notice the first time over, I'm going fairly slowly. What I'm doing is leveling off the soil, then I go over again at a higher speed to work the ground down. after planting and I'm doing the first weeding using a push hoe. That's this implement here. The best time to do this job is when the weeds are very small and it's very easy to kill them. The weeds in the row are going to be shaded out by the crop itself and I'll probably give it another one or two weedings between the rows and then the crop will shade out any weeds in the row. two to three weeks to dry off, to get dead ripe, ready for threshing. So I'll stack some of the wheat on the floor like this, and the rest of it I'll put on some beams and hang it from the beams, and that'll let the air flow through 
so that it can dry, ready for threshing. This is the result of the winnowing. If you notice, we still have some unthrashed heads, these little bits here. To get rid of those, there's a little trick where we move this back from side to side. And they're all collected here. And we can pick them up and then put them back through the machine to thresh again. So we keep on going, removing the clean seed and then eventually you'll end up with a handful or two which you can't really separate in with this method and you can either feed that to the chickens or give it to the birds. 